go to settings go to output and in output make sure in an output mode go to the recording section and in recording section make sure yours your is on standard and the recording path is basically where the end files will get stored basically where your recording will go to get stored usually be in the c drive the recording format now if your computer is quite low spec uh, it's not up to the mark and and when you're using obs and it's like uh, crashing or if you are living in a place where there's so much power outages that means uh, keeping mp4 is not a really good idea because it will be uncoverable in case you know there's a power outage and you did some you are doing a recording and the power goes off you can't recover the work so instead of that you can put mkv now the thing with mkv is that uh, uh, in case you want to edit it afterwards in uh, after effects or I main after effects or premiere pro you need to you can't really do that so you need to go to remux recordings and then you can like you know select the file which you want to uh, convert into to mpp M mp4 sorry from mkv then from through that you can do it and uh, going back to the settings uh, next uh, in uh, next you have to choose your encoder now if you're using an nvidia graphics card you use it you use its encoder for example i have the rtx 2070 super it has the nvidia nv nvink h.264 now i use that now in case i have amd i use the amd's encoder now in case you don't have it uh, you have to use your cpu's encoder but then the cpu encoder is not that powerful i mean because you have to play games or if you're just streaming without playing games then it's fine but if you're playing games and you're using uh, the, the, the CPU's encoder to you know record the videos then it's kind of it depends on the game might lag now next rate control keep it as lossless uh, for the audio then keyframe interval keep it as 2 preset quality keep it as max uh, quality and then profile keep it as high and uh, check mark look ahead and uh, this one too then GPU keep it as 0, max B frames uh, 2. Next go to the audio tab. In audio tab make sure all your audio uh, tracks are in 320 bit rate. And next you go to uh, audio here and make sure your sample rate is at 48 hertz. Uh, whatever is the highest basically. Then channel makes it as stereo. And next you go to video and this is obviously we're going to record 1080p at 60 fps so you keep your base resolution at 1920 by 1080 next keep your output resolution as 1920 by 1080 downscale filter as keep it as Lancones whatever it's called uh, sharpen scaling 30 samples in case you have 36 samples or something higher than that keep that as that's the best then common fps value keep it as 60 next go to advanced keep the process priority above normal and that's just about it now doing this will give you uh, the best quality at 60 fps so if you guys found this video to be informative make sure to leave a like and get subscribed to the channel if you haven't and i'll make sure to see you guys in the next video peace